Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Tinable product Nasus. There's a many different versions, Nasus Expert Professional Manager, and also in my previous video, I already showed you how to get free Nasus Essentials version. So if you haven't watched that, you want to get the free home version to play with it, Essential version. You can watch that but i want to show you this one expert version so it's a bit very expensive almost ten thousand dollars after you add in advanced support the most interesting part is it has web application scanning capabilities now you can have five fqdns to scan it will rotate it every quarter it has lots of other capabilities you can do unlimited IT vulnerability assessment. You can do external attack surface scan. Also, you can do cloud infrastructure scan. You can scan cloud infrastructure as code. And also, they have 500 pre-built scanning policies for you to use. So now, let's start it. Tinable Nessus expert version installation is same as Nessus Essentials. You just download the package and then double click to install on your OS system, Windows system or Linux system. If you want to install web application scanning inside of Tenable Nessus Expert, there are some system requirement, also hardware requirement as well. It will require you as Docker to be installed. Without that, you won't be able to install web application scanning module. So in this video, I'm going to slowly show you how to get your Docker installed on your Windows machine. And then we're going to go through the Nessus expert installation steps and also enable web application scanning. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you a special code to help you install Tinable special version into a Linux which can give you more features than Essentials free version you can experience. So just keep watching to the end and you will see that and you should try yourself if you are interested. But for now, let's go to install this Tenable Expert. Since we need to install Docker on our Windows system, so we can find out uh, this Docker documentation, install Docker desktop on Windows. So you can use WSL2 backend or you can use Hyper-V backend with Windows containers. Either way works. How we can enable this? If you are using Windows, that's very simple. For Windows 11, you can go to your control panel. Then you can turn Windows features on and off. You may need a container, you need Hyper-V, or you can enable Windows subsystem for Linux. All those can be enabled. That's for Windows 11. For Windows Server, for me, I'm going to use uh, Windows 2022 as an example to show you the steps to install Nessus Expert and uh, install web application scanning module on the, this machine. Let's go to the control panel. Turn Windows feature on or off. It will automatically launch server manager since we are using a server operating system. Click add roles and features. Next. 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 So we need a Hyper-V. This is a feature required for Hyper-V. Just add the features. As you can see, to make it working, we need to have our processor, need to require the virtualization capability. So let's do that. Add the virtual machine settings. We're going to change it to 4GB or maybe 8GB. 
and then get the two virtual CPUs enable this virtualized CPU feature click OK and power on the virtual machine let's continue next, next, next Hyper-V add features next and you will see containers next 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 you will wait until Hyper-V and the container feature has been installed you put the machine then this will be ready for us to install our docker desktop you also can install WSL2 which is pretty simple to do go to the Windows PowerShell admin mode WSL dash dash install then they will get you to install WSL it will download in the default Ubuntu image and then launch it from there since we already did that part we're gonna minimize this to let it go and we're gonna start to download our docker desktop you can directly search docker desktop download windows and you can direct download from here so I already downloaded so what we're gonna do we're gonna just double click to install it it's about 500 megabyte application so let's go through the steps so since we have both you can use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V uh, it make it faster so if you have WSL2 installed so it's John is just you to select this one let's do OK installation succeeded our next step is to install Nessus expert version we're gonna download download Tenable Nessus just click on download then you should be able to get it download it's about uh, 100 megabytes so it's finished uh, downloading just open file next accept the terms default folder just click install very straightforward and the same process for Nessus Essentials version, Professional version and Expert version that's it so the web page can automatically open the 8834 port to access the web GUI so we can connect via SSL of course self-signed certificate gonna cause in the Chrome warning so it's uh, initializing Uh, initializing completed so we're gonna connect into internet to activate your subscription if you have license else we're gonna use the trial account as I'm gonna show you there's couple proxy settings plugin feed and encrypting password can set but the lab environment is very straightforward just to continue uh, we're gonna start a trial for Nessus Expert since we don't want to pay like nine thousand dollars, almost ten thousand dollars for this version. We just try the function. We get the email address. Continue. We're gonna select a trial. So we got the this for trial. It's going to be valid until 2024, April 20th. 
so it's just one week let's continue so we're gonna set up a username for login now it's gonna take um, another 30 minutes to download all plugins to be used in our future scanning so I will pause the video recording and come back once it's done for the lab purpose, I interrupt the plugin downloading process, reboot the VM. After rebooting, I open the list 8834 port URL and I'm going to log in. So you will get this notification Nessus has no plugins, therefore functionality limited. So that's normal. That's because we interrupt the plugin downloading. The plugin wasn't downloaded properly. As you can see, this downloading icon it shows you downloading Nessus plugins. So it will take around 30 minutes probably. Uh, but we will let it run in the background. At the same time, we're going to look at this Tinable Nessus expert version. So you will see interesting part. They have a couple of new components here. Telescan. You will see this is static code analyzer for infrastructure as code. This scan your cloud infrastructure code. You can enable it, but for this lab purpose, we're going to use in a web application scanning. So it shows vast requirement and the information. You can see Docker is here. It's not enabled. We don't have image downloaded. We also don't have plugin set. So now let's get started the Docker engine. So double click Docker desktop. You can see here Docker engine stopped. It's a Docker subscription service agreement. Let's say accept. We're going to continue without sign in. So you're going to ask some questions. Just to continue. Now we're going to start in the dock engine. So that's why here they didn't detect your dock engine running. So we're going to manually start in the dock engine. It will take a bit of time, but you will get there. After a couple of minutes waiting, finally you will get this page. Eventually, our dog engine is running right now. You can see engine is running, and you can control pause it, or you can quit Docker desktop. You can check for update, all those things. This is running. Now let's go back to our web application scanning module here. Let's refresh it. So enable web application scanning. Let's save it. Here is asking, are you sure you want to put on the top view AS image, which is going to be running in a Docker? Because the requirement is not fulfilled, they won't let you to continue. As you can see, we are still downloading Nessus plugins. So let's wait until that down, and then we're going to reboot the machine, and going to try it again. At the same time, we can look at our license. We can scan 32 IP address. This is trial version. That's a limitation. We can do daily software update. License is going to be expired on April 20th. This is our activation code. So we're going to wait until those updating down. Then we are going to do our WAS installation. Also, if you don't want to wait, also, you don't want to reboot. You can restart the Tinable Nessus services. In that way, we can check in our prerequisite for the WAS installation. So as you can see, there's a two prompt that shows downloading 
web application plugins and images. Since we have saved our settings to enable web application scanning and we meet the requirement Docker, now they're gonna download in WS image and WS plugin set. So you can see that from the event, the downloading latest WS image success and downloading NSS WS plugins. It's at the same time, it's also downloading NSS plugin. So now we really have to wait probably at least 30 minutes to get this done. Once it's done, we will continue. So now, as you can see, the downloading has finished it. The even the latest image, WS image, web application scanning image has been downloaded. License downloaded. This has plugins. Finish downloading. Core components. Finish downloading. They found the latest image downloaded. So basically it took almost um, one and a half hour to get everything downloaded. Uh, and then we can use the was function now. So if you go back to your scanner home page and you will see scans then you can start creating the new scan in the new scan you will see a new tab called web application and now you can do web application scan telescan is the same thing you can enable it save it it will start in downloading again you can go back to settings, look at the event. It shows installed now. The version 1.19.1 and the path is here. Before the end of this video, I want to show you the blog post I'm working on. Uh, it's recorded everything I talked about in the video. And the more interesting part is that Linux installation code. So if you want to try to install it on Linux, that's great. There's a code developing by someone genius and that will get you a special version of Nessus. And the installation is fast, much faster and completely automatically. It can be installed on Debian and Ubuntu. So those two codes, there's a download link in there. Give it a try, you will find some surprising things happening there. Um, yeah, that's what I want to show you. So that's all the video i like to share with you today. Very much regarding how to install Tinnable Nessus Expert, how to install web application scanning and the telescan. Then how long it takes. Thank you for watching. If you like it, as usual, give me a thumb up. Also, subscribe my channel. If you haven't, see you in my next video.